Today I want to talk about the simplest way to get a really professional setup for your Zoom guitar lessons. This relates to Zoom, Skype, pretty much most video conferencing services. If you are new around here and you enjoy guitar related content, then I encourage you all to hit that subscribe button. I upload weekly content on all things guitar related. So if that is something that you're into, make sure you hit subscribe and ring the bell to get notified when I upload. So the first piece of gear we're gonna talk about is the audio interface. An audio interface is what's gonna enable us to get the best quality audio recording for our sessions and for our guitar lessons. Audio interfaces come in all different configurations. I would say as long as you have two inputs and ideally two XLR inputs, then that's gonna serve you pretty well. The audio interface I have is the Audion ID14. It has two XLR inputs so I can plug in a microphone and it has a DI input which will enable me to plug in my guitar or my electroacoustic guitar just so that that audio source is direct and sounding as good as it possibly can. Audio interfaces don't have to be expensive. The Audion ID14 that I have is around about £150, but you can get interfaces with the same configuration for less money. Focusrite do a couple of great audio interfaces, which are around £100 or so, and their preamps sound really good, so I can definitely recommend that you take a look at those, and they will do the job for you just fine. So we've mentioned that you can plug your instrument straight into your interface, but I also like to have an input dedicated to my voice, and for that I just use a microphone. A clear audio source for your voice is crucial for lessons, especially if you're trying to convey ideas or explain concepts. I always think that built-in microphones in computers just don't sound great and if someone is paying you for your time and you know for your service then you want to make sure that they're getting the best service possible. If you are fortunate enough to be in a space that is acoustically treated and you don't have to contest with too much background noise then a studio condenser is going to be a really really great option for you. These are really sensitive microphones. They do a great job of picking up all the details and nuances in that audio source. So whether that's your voice or if that's your acoustic guitar. But if you do have to contest with a lot of background noise, then a condenser might not be the best option just because it's gonna pick all that stuff up. And we wanna avoid that. If background noise is gonna be an issue or you just feel like your environment isn't acoustically treated, then a dynamic microphone might be a more sensible option. Dynamic microphones are really, really versatile and they're very directional. And what that means is that they're only really gonna pick up what is right in front of the diaphragm. So if there is any external noise, it's unlikely that this microphone is gonna pick that up. So let's jump into the computer and I'll explain how to set this kind of thing up. Okay, so now we're at the computer, we can start plugging a few things in. The first thing we need to do is get our audio interface connected. So most audio interfaces are USB connected, so you can just plug the USB cable straight into your laptop or your computer. I then run my electric guitar through my pedal board and then into the DI input of my interface. I then get my microphone connected, which is what I'll be using for my voice. So again, that just runs into my interface using the XLR input, and I actually run that through Logic. So we'll be using a DAW to actually route all of our audio sources. So whatever you use, whether that is Pro Tools, Logic, GarageBand, whatever that might be, all you're gonna to need to do is set up one track for each audio source. So I have a track for my guitar. I normally run it through a guitar plugin or an amp modeler in the DAW, just so I can get some better tones that my students are gonna enjoy and that I'm gonna enjoy playing through as well. And as I mentioned, I've got my pedals on my pedal board, which I can use for some effects if I need to, depending on what it is I'm teaching. I've also got a pair of headphones, which I just plug into my interface, and that allows me to hear everything that's going on with the amp modeling software, the audio sources, and so I can hear my student as well on the call. 
All you need to make sure is that your USB interface is being read by your computer so it knows that that is the input and output device you're using and you'll also need to go into your preferences in Zoom to make sure that rather than using the built-in microphone and output speaker in your laptop that you're instead running everything through the inputs and outputs of the audio interface. Once you've got that configured it's basically going to bypass everything else in Zoom and the only thing that's going to be heard is what's coming through your DAW and your interface. Now I mentioned that we've got the microphone here for my vocals but if you do your lessons on on an acoustic guitar, you can either plug your acoustic in if it does have a pickup in there, or what I like to do is just use this dynamic microphone or the condenser microphone to actually pick up the audio of my acoustic. Depending on the mix and where you've got it positioned, it can work well to capture both your guitar and your voice at the same time. Or if you do have two microphones, you can have basically one for each. It's whatever setup you have and what works best for you. I hope you all enjoyed the video and you got some useful information out of it. If you did find it helpful, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. It really does help the channel grow in these early days. And leave a comment down below. Let me know if you are providing online lessons and just share what equipment you use down in the comments just so we can all benefit and get some ideas for potential future gear purchases. As always guys, thank you all for watching this video. Keep playing guitar and I will see you all in the next one.